I'd like to introduce you to the collection that I've done with Race Furniture and OC Designs. Um, if you know anything about me, you would know that Ernest Race is one of my favorite designers. So basically getting a chance to work on his designs, it's a no brainer. I was gonna do it either way, but being able to just play around and put in my little slant or my interpretation of what I think should be done with these designs, it's just been an honor. So I'm gonna start introducing you to them. And the first one is the antelope bench. It's in my classic kind of design. And then I've also added a timorous beasties marble gum fabric on the seat. And is one little bobble down there, just one foot in my kind of fluorescent color, just to show off the actual design. I didn't really need to do much to it, but I had to play around, didn't I? And then we have BA chair. Now the BA chair for me is classic Ernest Race. When you see this, you just know who this is. I admire this chair simply because of its qualities. Basically, this chair was made up of decommissioned airplanes and ammunition melted down to make this frame. That is a classic design. Then you've got the gazelle table. Plain and simple, if you look at the design, there's nothing really you need to do to it, but I had to play around with it. This table, the classic gazelle, it, it doesn't really need anything. But I think I made it a little bit cooler, I think, just a little bit. Then you've got the antelope chair. If you ever see any of the pictures of the Festival of Britain, you will see loads of these. So for me, I've just had to bring it with my kind of quirkiness, which is adding color, adding that vibrancy, and also showing off the beauty of this design. So you have the classic antelope chair. Now the Roebuck chair for me is once again, and I know you keep hearing me say this, is a classic, but this reminds me of being at school. I used to have school chairs that were just simple. We had a wooden seat and a wooden back and that was it. But this, it makes you want to go to school. Now when I went to school, I didn't have a chair looking as cool as this. Now the classic rocker is a chair through time that's either done nursing, telling stories, or just sitting down, chilling out with a cup of hot chocolate. So what I've decided to do with this one is basically fluorescent red once again, the arms to have that lovely black, and then the seat is to have that storm blotch by Timorous Beasties. And I think all three components just work well with the other dimension, which is Ernest Race's design. The BA table, exactly the same as the BA chair, where all of these frames were made from decommissioned airplanes and also ammunition melted down, and then you've got the lovely form there. But with a table like this, you don't really need to do much to it, because really and truly, it's gorgeous as it is, but you've got to be funky with it. When you're not having dinner, you can actually look at this and just enjoy the beauty of it. The BA chair, look at that. Now that is gorgeous, and as I've said many a times before, the thing that I admire the most about Ernest Race is that he was the original upcycler. So, someone who can decommission an airplane, melt down old ammunition, and create this beautiful, timeless piece, is just like, wow. The antelope chair, this one, is super rare because it's been upholstered. Now, not normally, and I don't think I remember ever seeing an Ernest Race upholstered antelope chair, but I've got one here. When you look at something like this, you just know that it is perfectly balanced. Look at that, and that is gorgeous. I can't thank Race Furniture and OC Design enough for allowing me to just have fun. It's like, really, this has been like super fun. But there is a serious side to this, and the serious side is that I'm looking to raise money for a project that I'm doing. And the project is basically getting young people apprenticeship ready to go into the furniture industry. So to keep the next generation feeding into 
becoming designers. So um, every piece that you see here, you're able to bid for. Every piece, or all of them if you wanted to bid for all of them, will then, the money will go into a pot which will then be able to support these young people in a particular project that I'm doing. So please, get bidding. <laughs>